Hi everyone, hello and welcome to the tips and tricks of Solid Expert. For those of you who don't know me, well, my name is Alain Provo. I've been a technical representative here at Solid Expert for the last 10 years, almost 10 years. So I'm happy to be with you guys today. And we're going to be in our third segment of the MBD from our series of manufacturing, digital manufacturing. So um, we learned why we should use NBD, the advantages of using NBD. And now uh, I'm going to do a little teaser inside SolidWorks of why NBD is such a great tool. So let's jump in and check it out. All right. So we have uh, the part open already uh, from the uh, wood inch uh, assembly. And this is the model we're going to quickly do some uh, dimensioning with MBD. So first thing first, um, what you need to do is go in, in this tab and open up the DIM Expert tab. In here, that's where you're going to see all the uh, annotations, dimensionings that you're going to do. They're going to add up in there, the functions that it will have been um, uh, matched with. So that's going to be like your, your historic of what you're doing. And let's start by uh, doing an auto dimension uh, scheme. This will help you out on a part to create quickly many um, dimensions and annotation in a few clicks only. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Uh, maybe capture a view or two to show the advantage of using MBD. All right. So it's going to be a short segment because our tips and tricks are all about that, giving you that information short and sweet. So you see here, I have different kind of parts that can be um, done inside MBD. So this one here is a prismatic part. It's not a turn part. So we all think of how this is going to build, be built. So this is going to be machine and it's a prismatic uh, volume. So that's what I'm going to use. And the tolerancing type for me here is going to be plus and minus, not geometric. Good. And naturally, all the patterns on the prismatic part like this are most commonly linear than polar. So that's what I'm going to use here also. And, and now I'm going to uh, set my uh, primary datum. So my primary datum is going to be under here. So it all depends on how you want to uh, manufacture the part. So let's say my second second uh, datum will be in the front and I'll put a third datum too and put it on the left side here. So once that is done, I'll be able to ask MBD if I want it to see all the features and recognize them with the data I, I gave it and auto dimension the part or I could simply manually select the feature I want. So here I want to do the wall factor. So I'll use the all feature and in here these are the um, things that I want to be dimensioned in a snap. I could choose other stuff like if I had the slot that I want to uh, be uh, dimensioned, if there were notches, Maybe I want that. Maybe I want the surface uh, uh, precision to be uh, also annotated. Um, all these things could be asked. It's going to take just a little longer to dimension, but it's going to do it. So let's stick with this for now. I'll accept that and we'll see what happens. Wow. There you have it. All the dimensions are already done. So here, what it says that all the dimensioning, it has also seen that it's both my holes. So it's not for one, but it's for both of them. So it recognized that also very easily. Okay. Um, now, MBD is all about creating um, uh, views of what I'm doing. So right here, I'm going to capture a 3D view. So if I'm like this, that's exactly how it's going to capture the view. And I could say, let's say this one would be my ISO. So let's say it's going to be ISO like that. 
and I can accept it. So if I move my part and I come and click on ISO, it's going to reposition with the dimensions that are meant to be with that view. So it's as easy as that. Let's say I, I do a basic dimension here and I select the top face and the bottom face is going to help me create a dimension, right? And if I want, maybe that dimension, I want it to be on that view. So very simply, I can capture the view and name it left. Simple as that. Okay, and I accept. So now it means that when I'm like this, I see my views, but if I go on the left view, it's going to show me only the dimension that's meant for that view. So it's going to be really easy to understand how the part can be built. So I can do cut like this, I can do just the drillings on a view, so I can really, really well determine how the part is going to be manufactured. Plus, if I do need paper, I can take that and import all the information on a drawing in a snap and it's going to be real quick, real easy. So I invite you to use MBD, try it, ask to try it, and it's going to be a pleasure for us to help you out. So I hope you liked it um, and I hope I can see you in the next segment. Uh, my, uh, my teammates will be also doing some other segments of uh, tips and tricks for you guys, so don't miss them. Thank you. Bye-bye.